All right, hello everyone. Good to have you here, Paul Trani. I'm gonna dive into uh, latest update to uh, actually Adobe Dimension, which I think is pretty cool. So YL, I think you'll like this. I hope you do, but I know I do. Uh, so welcome, my friends. Uh, yeah, so our latest update includes an update, uh, basically it's sort of our first integration with Al Algorithmic, and I'll go over that, as well as cloud rendering and a number of things. Uh, but most importantly, I think it's just fun to play with uh, good old uh, Adobe Dimension, right? So that's what uh, this is all about, encouraging you to get involved. Um, so check it out. I'll show you right now, and I can actually just share my screen and show you what we have going on. Let's do it. Boom, we're here. Peter Bessette from Florida. Good to have you here, man. Uh, it's going pretty well. Samuel, good to have you here as well. Uh, yeah, I'm going to dive into sort of the latest update to uh, Adobe Dimension. So I can see right up here, hopefully you have Dimension, but just kind of come in here and then hit update. Uh, photorealistic 3D for creative designers. Okay, so this is 3D for uh, people who do not use um, uh, 3D typically or, you know, don't have an engineering degree. So just hit update. You can kind of check out the April 2019 release. This is what I'm going to talk about anyways. But we have cloud rendering. We have a, a zillion new materials as well available. Uh, so yes, uh, feel free to hit share, by the way. I'm going to do that right now. Boom, boom. And uh, yeah, new substance material support from uh, Algorithmic. So this is our sort of first integration with that company uh, that we purchased a little bit ago. So uh, you can kind of check that out. Uh, SBAR files is what they are, so I'm going to get into that, uh, and I'm going to show you where you can get some, but we've replaced uh, a lot of the graphics. Updates to place graphics, you could do some fun things, like you see right here, as this wraps around, we'll do some fun things like that. And what's cool is we could use it with Creative Cloud libraries as well. What's up, Froja in the house? Uh, updates to uh, the units and dimensions, or the the the, the different uh, units available, and a couple other things. Okay. Uh, yeah, let's do this. I'm just gonna have some fun, huh? Let's have some fun today, shall we? This is my crazy rendering that I was working on. I'm gonna cancel that. I'm gonna go out here. I'm just gonna go file new. Let's do that again. This was just something fun I was working on. You know, maybe I will save this. Save this fun file, just so you know. B, we're doing 36 days of type. That's why uh, I have a B here. It's the second day, that's the letter. So I don't know if you're getting involved in that, but that's what's happening. Uh, Anel, good to have you here. So yeah, uh, so check this out. Um, we'll just go, you know, again, keep this simple, file new, new file really simple we have these starter assets that you're probably aware of right so i can grab that sphere you get it uh there it is there's this object but if i click next to it these materials are actually sbar files is what they are they're actually an updated file type so we're really going to see i think an explosion in materials in dimension but i could take any of those drop it on or you could just double click just double click and you can add that just like that and you can see it's being rendered right up there as well let's go in here too i think this is one did i add this one no i did not but again you can see a number of ones right in here here's glitter let's go back to this 3d printed one this could be pretty complex since we're dealing with transparency uh, notice right up here here's the 3d printed texture scroll down here we can see it has a bunch of different properties, and that's what these SBAR files will give us, is a ton of different properties uh, to play with. Uh, so again, this is super simple. Let's add some fun lights to it, because I can. Studio color stage lights, that's right. Let's make it, let's give it a fun background as well. Let's go right there, boom, there we are. You get the idea, maybe this one. I don't know, maybe this one, right? A number of options that we can do. 
Let's go with this one. Okay, so uh, typically this is what I'd create. I'd create what I want, uh, import those file formats, by the way, and then go into render. So I could render this, of course, to my desktop. Again, not making anything too crazy, but this is the exciting part, cloud beta, right? So I can say this is gonna be the sphere. We'll just do medium because I want it to finish before it's done and it's gonna save it to my Creative Cloud Files folder when it's done. So now I can hit render. Let's first save the file as sphere. I just love this because this cloud rendering means, hey, Seuss, that uh, we're, our, we're freed up from our machine. So cloud um, rendering is happening now. It's uploading the file, but the important thing is, is I can continue to work on this, right? So again, I have this saved, right? I get it. But now I can have some fun and start to use some other files. So I'm gonna show you some resources really fast while I'm at it. Uh, jumping out here, there's, um, Algorithmic has a ton of like uh, libraries, a share platform, if you will, where you can get a ton of textures. So check this out. I'm just going into metal just for fun because I like the reflective aspect of it all. And again, right in here, let's get this cool one. Looks like a somewhat of a Celtic type look, embossed metal. Let's download that, right? I've downloaded that particular texture. So. A ton of textures available. This sbar file, that's the one I want, right? Let's see if I could do this. I actually do not know if this is gonna work, but we're gonna learn together. If I could just drop that on directly from the desktop, and I can! Look at that. Look what I just did. Downloaded, so did you see that, Samuel? Um, you know, just finding cool materials out there, using stock, by the way, stock.adobe.com and I can find 3D content as well. Okay, so I can get content over here. I can filter and grab different materials this way, by the way. So this is one way. I love this silver mirror. So I can license and save it to my computer if I want. In fact, I'm gonna do that right now. I'm gonna download this to my desktop. All right, and I'm gonna show you, show in Finder, boop. Okay, so this happens to be an MDL, but it could also be an SBAR file. Uh, nonetheless, I can also use uh, this Substance Share site as well to grab other materials, place them where I wanna place them, adjust the environment, maybe increase the intensity of that light is what I wanna do, holding down the three key, kind of move around, um, kind of check this out. Let's select this object. Let's put this at zero, zero, zero. There we go. And now I can kind of move around it. Again, I get used to holding on these shortcut keys. Number three, kind of zoom in. Two, pan around. One, rotate. And you can see this new material that I've just applied. So. Pretty cool what we could do here, as you can tell. Uh, I'm gonna go beyond this because maybe I don't wanna go with this particular material. Maybe I'll just drop on this glossy paper. Here's this glossy ball. Now I wanna go ahead and use Creative Cloud Libraries. Jump out there. Libraries. Say for instance I've created a logo or some sort, which is what I'm checking out now. And I'm just gonna make something real fast. Let's grab this. These leaves, zoop, copying them. Uh, we will put this in our 36 days of type, dropping that in there. That's a, This is a vector asset, so this is our logo, right? Double click on it, we can see it right here. And guess what, of course, we could drop that on. Starter assets, libraries, grabbing that logo, dropping it right on there, as you can see. Uh, pretty straightforward, right? But now it could be linked. So basically if I edit this in Illustrator, coming back in here, selecting this graphic, 
changing up the color a little bit. I'm not sure what color I'm going to go with, to be honest with you. Do something like that. Those two colors. Switched them up. Saved it. I go back in here and you can see that it is updated, which is way cool. Samuel, it's just 3D. Uh, it is just 3D. Um, there's not motion in it. It's not for animation. And again, it's just for me being able to composite what I want in in dimension to create what I want, uh, you know, from a designer's perspective, right? Uh, doesn't mean that I'm going to actually um, do any 3D modeling in here. So you're not doing 3D modeling, you're doing all your compositing. Just like Photoshop doesn't take photos, it does all the compositing on a 2D le level, this does it on a 3D level is what's happening. Okay, so we can see that. Sure enough, I can come up with whatever I want, as you can see. Rita, good to have you here. And let's just switch. I think I'm missing some things. Cool. Okay, Samuel, this is, uh, it's only a, it's, this is dimensions. So this, you mentioned AE, I assume you mean After Effects. This isn't uh, After Effects, just so you know. Uh, this is something special called Adobe Dimension. And let's make this new design. You can see what I've been doing with this is I've actually been uh, been doing some painting and stuff. So I could drop this image back there. Here's an image that I have for this brand, for instance. Again, just kind of working on this. I dropped in an image there. We could see it right there. If I want to edit that, even if it's raster, I can... Uh, that's basically a linked file as well. Uh, Samuel, for Adobe's animation tools, we have After Effects, you are right. Zoop. Which just had an update today that I just updated. And then there's also Adobe Animate. So that's your more of your 2D, um, your 2D animation was uh, formerly Flash. Mark Eisen, what's up? In the house, good to have you here. Uh, just to point this out, I could drop in, say for instance, a flower back here. Just to show you that I'm making an update, this happens to be a begonia, a B for begonia. Switch back over. Let's rasterize this. There we go. Updated this file in Photoshop. I switch over. I can see it updates here and it updates in my design for Begonia. You get the idea. Okay. Why, thank you, Anel. You like the flower? I painted this like last night. I was up at like till 1 a.m. just working on painting this graphic because that's what I do for fun. Um, and again, there's the background. Let's scale it to fit. You could see it right there. We have original size. You get the idea. There's the B. Let's get rid of this ball. Hit delete. And yeah, so that is dimension. Actually, I didn't even cover like all the features, but I covered the main ones, which is ultimately Updates to Creative Cloud Libraries. Uh, updates to place graphics. So I place graphics on them. Um, higher resolution, less pixelation. Uh, decal and fill, by the way. Okay, so let's do this. I'm going to change this from decal to fill. I'm going to drop this logo on this 3D object, right? Currently, it's set to decal, right? It's just a little decal right there on that B. And let's, let's simplify this. We don't need that inlay. So you can see it now. Zoom in on it. Pan down. And now for this graphic, I'm going to change the graphic from a decal 
to a fill. So it's going to, as you can see, it's going to start tiling it. And that's what I want to do. I want to check, I'm going to repeat this maybe uh, 10 times like that. And you can see it's tiled it 10 times. What if the Y, since it's taller, I'll tile it 20 times, but you get the idea what I'm doing here. 30, 50, like that. You can see I'm now tiling that, uh, that, that image, which is brand new, by the way. And that's why you're joining me, hopefully. Uh, Ha ha ha, Jan Eric. I'm glad you're looking forward to the raster image editing in Illustrator. Thanks, bud. <laughs> yes, watercolor is so fun. So, hello from Philippines, Gerard. It's good to have you here. And again, it's kind of everything I've covered. It's all just the update to um, Adobe Dimension. Just so you know, I think we're going to see a lot more uh, coming into Adobe Dimension by way of materials okay or textures because we actually purchased a company called algorithmic here it is so we're going to see a lot of things happening here but it's pretty darn awesome uh this is actually just the share substance shares where i've actually downloaded some materials and things so anyways super exciting that's what i have going on and i encourage you to be creative, huh? Har har. More importantly, uh, get involved in 36 days of type because that's what I'm also doing. As you can see right over here, last link, 36 days of type. We're at day two. B, I'm going to post mine to Instagram later on, and that's about it. So thanks so much for watching. Uh, Gabriella from Germany. Ah, oh, I'm just missing you. You're just joining me. You can kind of check out what I've talked about uh, by watching the replay. But definitely thanks for hanging out, everybody. Uh, more going on uh, mainly via Instagram, as you can see from right, right there. There's my Instagram handle. I'll be posting some graphics. Some done in Project Gemini and Photoshop. So that's about it, everybody. Thanks so much for hanging out with me. We will talk to you later. And Marcin from Poland, good to have you here as well. I did not see you there, but thank you so much, everyone. Have a beautiful day. I appreciate you. And uh, yeah, happy spring to us. See you guys.